Yeah. So I work in a hospital and everything that we do is completely covered. So we deliver, you know, but, um, and certainly through Medicare, you can, through your GP go and, um, you know, there's, there's Medicare allied health. So you can, because you have a disease, then you can ask your doctor to refer you for an exercise physiologist for 10 sessions. Um, you know, same with dietitian and same with other allied health, um, psychology, things like that. It will depend on the setting. You know, if you go and seek some of your wellness supports through private um, wellness practitioners or through community, then they may have a cost. Um, but it can always be worth asking your GP whether any of those, whether anything that you're interested in would fit under a Medicare model because they, they will understand that or even your specialist. Um, most private hospitals um, will deliver things and that will their funding will be based on people's coverage. So there may be a gap funding cost that you know sits in that space for say an exercise program or they may or it may be covered completely so I can't really answer that bit um it's always worth asking if there's no you know anything that's delivered generally in hospitals will will be free but not necessarily there are some hospitals whose wellness programs um you know their first three massages are free and then after that there's a or they, or they get people to use their private health and then um, just pay a, a very small amount. So, it doesn't, yeah, if you go and see a private counsellor, then that, that has a cost. If you see someone through a pathway through either your GP or your hospital, then it may not have a cost, but it may have a longer waiting list. Um, so it's not necessarily a simple yes, no question, just like every other question.